Thank you all for coming tonight. If you've ever been to an FS meeting or a Growmark meeting in the past, you may have heard us talk about our four core values. Anybody heard of them? Hopefully all the employees have heard of them. Yeah, there's a hand in the back. Way to go, Derek. Um, so one of the four core values at FS is to make your life easier. And so I think you can do that here at South Central FS. It's kind of a one-stop shop. We've talked about a lot of farm inputs so far. Um, I'm going to touch on agronomy, and Michael's going to uh, touch on some other things as well. But uh, you know, not only can you get your goods and services here, but you can also finance them, Cheryl, and, uh, and insure them while you're here too. So again, kind of a one-stop shop. Um, the second four core of the four core values is to help you stay competitive. And when I think about this, I think about offering you a lot of options, right? Um, it's not a one-size-fits-all. Everybody's operation is a little bit different. And so working with your local crop specialist, you can really build a plan to, to tailor to your own needs. The third four core value is reduce your risk. That's what tonight's meeting is all about, right? Talking about risk mitigation and, and how to handle that situation. The fourth is to improve profitability for our members. And um, this is probably where I think Seed maybe has the most, uh, most value in tonight's conversation is, is how, do we, uh, how do we help improve your profitability and, and we can do that with um, good products and sound recommendations. So um, I work in the seed division at Growmark. I cover all of South Central FS's nine counties and this summer I also uh, took on Christian County FS as well. So um, at South Central they have a lot of different options to help fit your need when it comes to seed. So they have a multiple brand strategy when it comes to corn and soybeans. They offer two national brands with DeKalb and Aspro, as well as NK. Then we also have our Growmark brands, the FS Envision and FS High Soy, as well as, you can see at the top there, the, uh, the brand new wheat logo, Joe Meinhardt, uh, in, inspired uh, the uh, logo. He didn't name it, but uh, it was his suggestion to uh, come up with something other than plain old FS wheat. So um, Inspire is kind of a play on a, a tall, slender, grass-like uh, object there. So brand new logo for our wheat. But we also have um, other seeds as well when, as far as cover crops, forages, and even turf grass. So a lot of different product options to, uh, to help when it comes to seed. So this is one that uh, I take a lot of pride in, and uh, you know, not only do we have options, but it gives you a lot of flexibility. So when I take a look at seed today, a lot of seed companies have had to make the decision about which direction they're going to go when it comes to seed trades, especially on the soybean side. Um, we've seen you know people make the uh, decision to either go down the Enlist D3 route or the Extend Flex route. There's not a lot of places that you can go buy beans today and still have the option to buy any specific trait that you want. Um, so we do offer anything from conventional beans to maybe some older technology with uh, straight extends or liberties, and then the brand new ones on the markets, the Enlist D3 and the Extend Flex. So pretty much anything you could want from a bean side, you can get here. Likewise, on the corn side of things, uh, a lot of different options as well. Um, with uh, some of the traits you're familiar with, like Double Pro and Smart Stacks, um, but some things that are newer, like Duracade and uh, the uh, Tricepta lineup, um, which, which we've launched a few new products with that lineup now. So um, not only do we have a lot of expertise combining you know, um, these traits, but we can take, your local crop specialist can take these traits and combine them with good chemical recommendations to help mitigate your risk when it comes to weed weed problems and insect problems. So not only do we have a lot of flexibility and a lot of options, but we have good options when it comes to our seed brands. Um, these uh, hybrids that are listed up on the board right now are some of the um, top recommendations that we have for this current year. And so um, we usually pick on, on uh, the big P there, the Pioneer. They're one of our major national brand competitors, so that's who we try to stack up against and see how we perform. And so um, just taking a look at this trial, this data, like Jeff said, we have a lot of data, right, a lot of trials, has been taken from um, South Central territory and, and maybe just a little bit wider with the counties that touch you guys. 
Um, and so you can see there on the bottom, looks like we're running about a 10 bushel an acre advantage right now over Pioneer with our current lineup that we're recommending for this season. So since I'm uh, from Girl Mark, we have our Envi FS Envision lineup, and um, about 2012, well, let's go back even further. 2008, we got a brand new product manager um, on staff at Girl Mark, and we started to see an uptrend. We put a lot of focus in building the, what was FS Corn uh, lineup back then to provide a high yielding, solid group of hybrids to bring to our, our farmer, um, customers. And so about 2012 we rebranded to FS Envision and since then we've seen a, a positive yield advantage over Pioneer for 13 years running um, looking at about a four bushel an acre advantage. FS High Soy uh, is no different. Um, it's actually the oldest proprietary bean on the market so I'm going to say about five years ago maybe a little longer time kind of gets away from me but we celebrated the 50th anniversary of the high soybean. It's the oldest bean on the market, and we're still growing strong today with really good performance. So I can stand here all day long and show you our own yield data, right? Anybody can stand up and do that, but uh, as they say, the proof is in the pudding, and we make an effort to enter our hybrids and varieties into a lot of third-party um, data sets or trials as well, right? So that's how we really know how, how are we truly performing. And so, these, uh, these slides highlight some of our performance in the uh, local first trials. So this slide highlights more of the northern area of the town territory. So pretty strong yield environments, um, you know, good, good fertility, and uh, you can see a lot of our products did very well in those third-party trials. The other thing I want to highlight is if you look at the way our numbering system um, works, the letter in the numbering, you know, the, the name of that hybrid represents a trait package. So when you see an X, it's a smart stacks. When you see um, a V, it's a double pro. When you see a T, it's a tricepta. So I mentioned that we have a lot of traits to offer, but we have a lot of good traits, right? You can see a lot of different ones are up in, in those, uh, those highlights for the first trials. So again, these are, uh, these are this year's results from um, local first trials in the northern part of the state, or not northern, but north, north part of the territory, I guess. And that's great when we put ourselves in a high yield environment that we perform to the maximum. But what about when we come further south, right? We, as you move south into the, the southern part of the territory, a little bit tougher yield environment, a little bit lower um, you know, fertility, and, and maybe a little bit more stress. And um, similar results here too. So these, these are a little bit further south um, over in Belleville and Nashville, but you can see once again that, uh, that our performance with FS and Vision was really strong in the first trials. Um, you can also look up the University of Illinois um, as well. All of our products were in that uh, data testing program as well. So the final thing that I want to highlight is um, we had, the past couple of years I've been up here representing FS Envision and the, uh, the guys that entered the NCGA contest. We did go ahead and have a couple of entries again this year, so I want to thank the, the farmers that took the time to do that. But we also introduced a uh, high yield contest back in June utilizing Envision and High Soy. And um, I want to thank the guys that did this. We are going to hand out prizes, not tonight, um, but we are going to hand out prizes to the guys there that are highlighted. So we broke it up into the three territories that exist at South Central. So the top yields um, will be getting some prizes from me. So I want to thank those guys. And the one thing I want to touch on here is that 2020, you know, has been a challenge in multiple ways. But uh, the early planted corn, the early planted beans, it seemed like, you know, we, we maybe didn't get as good a stand as what we wanted. We had a really wet June, it turned off, you know, somewhat, I guess we had a wet July, um, but then it turned off dry in August and it was really easy to give up on the crop. Um, same way with beans, you know, just, they just didn't look great ever, really. And um, one thing that's consistent about the individuals up on this uh, chart is that they, they didn't give up on the crop. So they built a plan back in the beginning of the spring and uh, stuck with the plan. They went ahead with some of those high management practices like fungicides 
and uh, over the top nitrogen or split shotting their nitrogen using fungicides, insecticides, and soybeans. And those were the things that led them to maintain the high yields that they are uh, that they've come to expect. So, thank you guys.